Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start creating Django context processors. And you might be like, what does Django context processors mean and what do they do? So I'll be explaining that. Do make sure to drop a like on this video if you want to see more videos like this. And also consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me. And if you want to get a template, check out the link in the description. You should point it to the right direction to get a template. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Context processors in Django is pretty much what helps us access a particular object in our templates without actually passing it into a simple view. But don't worry, I'm gonna explain it and trust me, you're gonna understand what it does. So what we're trying to do is this. Now, remember from all the views that we'll be writing, actually all views returns either a template or a response or something, right? But recently, all the views we've been writing, all they've been returning is templates for now. We're still gonna keep start returning response very, very soon. But now, we returned index.html on this one, right? In this one, we, we returned product list.html, right? In this one, what we thought was category list.html and finally, product category list.html. Now, what view is it that we are writing that is returning um, an a, um, a template for the base the HTML so this is the base and hopefully you guys know what the base is holding the base is what's holding this logo those things all this home about shop this over here and that's what's holding all this footer so what template is it that's returning this now there is no template this is just a template that we created and we are simply extending it to the views that we created okay or to other templates rather now how about we want to pass in categories so let's say we want to pass in all our categories we want to pass it into somewhere like this so we want to pass it into a drop down like this how do we do that so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here right then we're going to look for i'm going to look for about i'm just going to look for an about page and um this is it right so this one is shop now i'm looking for something like shop so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this this shop one over here and i'm going to paste it down here and what i'm going to do um is change this to categories right or other category like this and maybe you guessed the right already i'm gonna get rid of all these other things that we've got let me see how they look in there this is what we've got all this now i need to get rid of all this all this this is a ul li now i need to get rid of all this li right that's what she, that's what you're thinking now i'm gonna come over here i'm still gonna get rid of all this li and now we've got just one so what you're thinking is what well, we then we're gonna go ahead and run a, a for loop just like we would be doing for other category hey you might be like hey destiny don't you remember how we run a, a for loop on the category um detail page rather uh, instead this one that's over here i'm gonna come over to category this one over here don't try to remember how we run a run a for loop on this one yeah that's what i'm gonna do so over here i just need to run a for loop on this right yeah simple as that so i'm gonna come over here and i'm gonna say for c in categories that's it right then i'm also going to come over here and i'm going to end for i'm going to end for and if i refresh then we should see like two of those over there now did you even see anything at all no not in showing up okay maybe that's because we that we haven't changed this right yeah let's change this so i'm going to say c dot title okay so right now if you refresh hopefully we should see something but do we see anything no, we are not seeing anything. And that's because this category over here is not in any way being accessed by the base, base HTML. So this category is pretty much what we wrote over, 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 over here, right? That's what we wrote over here, the category list. Now, what this view is returning is category list.html. So it's only in this view that this category thing that we wrote is gonna be is gonna be visible. That's the only way it's gonna work. Now, how do we return a template? Or rather, how do we return a view? I'm gonna call it that's gonna access this base HTML over here, or rather the whole template in general. Now, how do we do that? That's gonna be quite easy and a little bit tricky if you haven't tried it before. And we're gonna be doing that using the context processor. Hopefully, you guys understood. Now, first thing to do is open up your settings.py and um, in the template section, and I actually I've already written a step-by-step -step guide that's gonna help you do that. We're gonna create a new file, context processor.py in the core app. I'm, I'm just gonna copy this over here. And in the core app, create this. Now you can call it wherever you want, take notes, you call it wherever you want, it's totally up to you. Now we need to install it in the settings.py template section lists as this. So we need to come over to the settings.py then we need to look for the template section 
and in the context processors that's where we need to install it so we need to say just down here we need to call where that file is this file so it's in the core folder right then what's the name of it the name is context processor remove the py then dot default so this dot default is like what the name of the function is going to be okay so what does that mean that mean if you come over to this file over here we're going to have something like define define default okay and in here as usual we're going to pass in a request it's just like a normal view then in here we're going to go ahead and return something right so i'm going to say return but this time around what i just want to return is a dictionary just like this okay so this is it everything looks great everything is working perfectly well that's all we need now how do we go ahead and access the categories remember that's that's one of the main reason why we are actually trying to do this so how do we access the categories in here in the base now what we simply need to do is import the categories so um i'm gonna come over to my views.py and i want to import all this in the um, actually we could go ahead and close up all the stuff it's becoming a little bit busy over there now i'm going to come over here and i'm going to paste this it's imported all that and i'm going to say categories i'm going to say categories should be equal to category dot objects dot all right simple as that now in this return remember the way we pass things into the into the context that's the same way we're going to pass this in okay so pass this in like this. This one is going to be a key. This one is going to be whatever you call this. Now with this now, remember we've, we've run the for loop already there. Now if we refresh this, okay, we got a, the first problem. Nice one. So it says module name, blah, 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 blah. It's not a package. So I already think I know where the problem is coming from. There should be a comma. Okay, so this is a comma problem. And um, if we refresh this, this should work perfectly well. So now guys, what do you notice? If we hover on this, we get food. And cosmetics as simple as that hopefully you guys understand what the category thing does so with this now we could even get um, more creative and we could even do whatever we want see if I come over to this view over here remember this slash um, I'm just gonna get back I'm gonna say slash category uh oh okay you know what I'm just gonna I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of doing that I'm just gonna come over here and this about I'm, I'm just gonna copy this about or rather I'm just gonna change it to category okay and for this one for this one what I could just do is okay I, I think that's not what I want to do what I could do is this over here you know this for loop I, I'm just gonna put this one down here and I'm gonna say come over to view this one is gonna be view all categories or rather I'm just gonna remove the view um, I'm gonna say all categories okay just like that and for this one what I can do is just go ahead and add in a URL so I'm gonna add in a URL just like this URL and this one is gonna be core slash category and now over here I'm gonna also change this one out this one I'm gonna pass in a URL and I'm gonna say core slash and I think where I called that one was this. So copy this over here and let's paste that. Uh oh, that didn't get copied. So I'm, I'm just gonna copy this and um, I'm gonna paste it. But this time around, I need to say c.cid or what we're doing. Now, if I refresh this, this should be this should not work because there is a problem over there. Now, what I simply wanna do is this and it says reverse for category not found. I think that should be category dash lists. Okay, that's it. So now if we hover here, as you can see food, cosmetics, all category. Now in order to demarcate this, I'm just gonna put a HR down there. So we have more cleaner drop down. Okay, food, cosmetics, categories. So if we view all the categories, now what do you notice? Now we show this, right? From this page, from the category list, we can still access the same thing. So we could open up food directly from here instead of coming to the category, or we could open up cosmetics from here instead of coming to you know the, the category. And that's it. So now let's also fix the browse all categories. So in the base, I'm just gonna copy this one over here and I'm gonna look for browse all categories, browse all categories. Now there's it over here, browse all categories. Now these are all the categories. So what I could just do is get rid of all this, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one is the one at the end. I'm gonna get rid of it. Now this one from here to here, I'm gonna get rid of that. And I also wanna get rid of that. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this down here. And as usual, I'm going to go ahead and end for. And for this one, you guys already know what's up. What we're going to do is go ahead and pass in the... You want to get rid of this. And you want to end this off with that. So there's going to be a URL over here. That should be lowercase. So there's going to be a URL over there. And now in this URL, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to make sure that you put a call over here at the back. Now we do simply need to say c.cid or it's going to throw an error as usual. And also we need to change out the name and the image. So this is the image, right? I'm just going to say c.image.url. Okay. And I'm also going to say c.title. So guys, let's refresh this one more time and drop down. Okay. What do you notice? This is what we got, but there is a little problem. So um, we say for C in that C dot image dot URL. Why isn't it, why isn't it getting the the image? But every Latin is is okay. I think okay. As you can see, it's still it's still working. But there is there should be a problem with the image C dot image dot URL. Hopefully there is no problem. But maybe there is something that I can see. Okay, I think there is a problem, and that's because we are not ending this off. Okay. So end that off and let's refresh this. Okay, what do you notice that's showing up? So I think that's gonna be it for this video and the category product, everything is done about that. And um, let's look at what we got next. We've done this, we've done this, we've done this one. So I think we're gonna go ahead and start working with the vendor. Then we're gonna work with the vendor list detail. Then we're gonna work with the product detail. Then we're gonna start with the real things, the products review, search products then filtering products okay so um hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new then make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me and also turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any episode from the series and also you want to get a template check out the link in the description below they should point you to the right direction to get to the template and until the next video my love peace out